The Microscribe, along with the TZ CAD application solution, is used in the manufacturing of bent tubes to get from the theoretical design data, in other words, the CAD file, to a functional tube that matches the design data in the shortest amount of time. With the ZCAD, you can generate master tube data for input to the bending machine and create corrected bend data to make tubes that match the master tube perfectly. The data can be manually entered, read in from the NIDIS file from the CAD design data, or created by measuring the physical master tube into ZCAD. This video tutorial covers basic setup and tube measurement into ZCAD using the Microscribe and its default tip. It is highly recommended that you use the proper equipment such as a fixture plate and clamps to securely hold both the Microscribe and tube to achieve expected results. There are many ways to do this. For this particular hardware setup, I've decided to use these special clamps that screw into the fixture plate to hold the Microscribe and tube. When first starting to ZCAD, you must also make sure that the software is properly configured before you begin measuring. First go under the Measure drop-down menu and select Measure Tube Tactile. At this point, you should see a dialog box come up. The only things you need to worry about are the diameter and radius. The other values are default and should be left alone. For this demo, I know that the diameter of this tube is 12 millimeters and the radius is 20 millimeters. If you know the diameter of the tube but aren't sure what the radius is, the rule of thumb is the radius value can be one and a half to two times the diameter. Once you've entered the diameter and radius values, you can change the tube color if you like. This would be helpful if you plan to do a comparison between your master tube to the first article bend. Click OK and begin measuring by following the steps above the command line. TZCAD will walk you through the process. At the start of every measurement, you are asked to enter three points at the beginning of the tube using the hand switch or foot pedal. Once entered, press the left button to confirm entry. You will then be prompted to enter six points per cylinder. What this means is you must capture these points only on the straights and not anywhere on the bends of the tube. Also important is the first two points out of the six must be taken in the direction of the tube. Once those first two points are entered, you may capture the remaining four points in either direction as long as they are in line. Try to cover at least 60% of the diameter of the tube when capturing the points. Once you get to the last cylinder measurement after capturing the six points, do not press the left button but the right button to end the measurement. You'll be prompted to capture three points at the end of the tube just like you did at the start of the measurement. Once you've done that, press the left button again to confirm. You can manipulate and move the tube on the screen using the mouse. Off to the upper right corner, expand tube data and click on the tube to see the XYZ or TBE data. The TBE data is the actual data you can manually enter into the bender or export directly to the CNC bender so that the first article tube can be produced. If you need to print the data, select the documentation menu, choose write data, and then click on the tube. Hit enter at the prompt and you will see the tube data appear on the screen. Select File, then Print to print out this tube data. With the printout, users will be able to walk to the tube bending machine and manually input the tube data. TZCAD offers optional modules for data output. In other words, you could have the option to export the tube data into electronic format 
that is recognizable by many bending machines such as Supervision, or as mentioned earlier, you can network the bender and PC so that the two data can be exported directly. To compare the first article tube to the master, you go through the same measuring process with this tube. First, pull up the master tube into ZCAD. Begin a new measurement and choose a different color to the master. Repeat the same measuring process with this tube. Once done, under the Measure menu, select Correct Tube Data. In the dialog box, select the Master Tube and Inspection Tube and click OK. The corrected tube data is calculated and will be shown in the drawing. This concludes the TZCAD basic setup and tube measuring tutorial video. The TZCAD with the Immersion Microscribe solution is the best, most economical system for shortening the bender setup time and reducing scrap.